do you know this fella? He said, yeah. I said, can you get me his number? He said, yeah. So I rung him up. I said, right, you need to come and see me, G. Come and see me. I said, look, no disrespect, G, but that money you owe, yeah? I don't know, I don't know no money. I said, yes, you do. He said, no, I don't. I went, ping, 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 ping. I said, yes, you do. And it's me. And now he's like, Argh. I said, right, I'm going to do you a favour. I said, because I can't do this no more. I said, I'm hurting and damaging and killing youngsters, mate. It can't happen. So I'm going to give you an opportunity. Yeah. I'm coming off the road today, right now. I'm coming off. I'm not doing this graph no more at all. If you don't want to pay me back that money, yeah, come off the road with me today. If you want to pay me back, then I'm going to sell that debt to somebody that you won't like. And they won't be as lenient with me and they will hurt you. And he said, well, what am I going to do? I said, I don't know what you're going to do. I said, but I'm coming off the road today and I'm going to the gym for the next six months. And I guarantee something else will turn around. He's gone off. He's developed a music um, platform, recording studio, record label. Now he's got four or five artists under him, turning over just under a million pound a year. Do you understand? I'm 